Here we are. Yeah. Good. Um, what did we try to, to do, by the way? Did we want to make more of these um, shorts? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm on it. I'm You're on that? Okay. Yeah. But there's nothing interesting we say. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm still figuring out if we use... Uh, like ideally, I use some audio from you guys if it's if it's mm -hmm. uh, usable. Otherwise, I just use captions um, and focus on the on the actual stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So later today, I'm, I'm doing this um, video where about the stream from like two weeks ago, um, where like uh, inputs and outputs, where I, like really zoom in and maybe I use some of Tony's uh, audio that where he's explaining it. Um, and then I'm also doing a. Um, a kind of uh, comparison between the first landing of a ship and how it looks now. So that Interesting. Work. Um, mm -hmm. Like there's this, there's this um, so like the social hook, uh, kind of uh, almost like a like a format where it says uh, you know or it's it's like it's the video starts people hate it how it looked when then we change mm -hmm. it to this you know and it's kind of the hook in the first two seconds so that see how how this plays out. Um, mm. Right. Because like the the landings they look awesome, uh, especially they compared do. to this to this like placeholder ship that went down there like in a, like two years ago. Oh, um, yeah, mm -hmm. that landing we still have too, right? It's not gonna replace the. Um... No, I'm I'm talking about the like this really tiny ship. At, at oh, the that's what yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where it goes like this, yeah, <laughs> it disappears into the ground. Yeah. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we we went to town with that idea, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Mm. Not not. You don't say went to town. All out. We went all out <laughs> with that idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm at this point. Nobody's correcting me. I'm probably babbling like a crazy man on the streets. <laughs> You're doing yeah. fine. I'm doing fine. <laughs> Thank you, Till. <laughs> okay. Uh, good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so have you? Before, before, so before we before going into mm -hmm. the serious stuff, I want to plug this Vince McMahon Netflix show. It's it's so amazing. It's <laughs> it's so it's so super. Like I because like WWE wrestling wasn't widely available in Germany mm -hmm. because they did so many pay-per-view events. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It wasn't on free TV at least. Um, and so it's it's a show about the, uh, you know McMahon what he did, how he built uh, turned WWE or WWF into this like public traded super profitable company. Uh, and he's also which I wasn't really aware. He was also a character. A, he was also a wrestler, a wrestling character all the time. And he he was playing the uh, asshole boss, and then mm -hmm. it kind of turned out that he he wasn't in fact uh, one of the worst bosses ever. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and it, he co he constantly blurs the line between like being a wrestling character, but essentially everything that he portrays, um, he did in real life. So it's and there were like some like crazy storylines. There was like the Attitude Era in the two thousands, and what they did in, in WWE wrestling was just. It was insane. I've I've never seen those this this footage and um <laughs> and it, it mm -hmm. essentially was all marketing. Like this this guy is like a marketing genius. Um, so is he? Yeah, he, like he and you know he, he brought Trump in. Uh, he brought Mike Tyson in and, and right. And it uh, I mean it's by now it's like pretty common to say that you know politics is essentially wrestling. But when you watch this this documentary, you see oh okay. You know, now I fully understand Trump because he's still like a wrestler at heart. Like his his events <laughs> are still like essentially resemble like WrestleMania. Like the way he talks, the way he like talks down on opponents. It's just a show, and it's uh, and people. That's why people are drawn mm -hmm. to him, I guess. Um, because people yeah. like wrestling. Yeah, and it actually really? made me want to go. Like so, if, apparently, like Netflix bought the the rights for wwe starting next year um so i'm gonna, really yeah so i'm <laughs> gonna definitely follow that if, if if the if the deal is all, also includes uh european territory um, and, yeah interesting how did you come to this because we talked about empty key games last week 
Oh, uh, did I, you I just pick it up by yourself? But, um, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I've, oh, I've wow. always been fascinated by wrestling, and I've never been like a full like hardcore fan. Okay. Um, well, then I have a treat for you here. I'm Dicky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy starting topic that you write tsunami. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like well, high, highly recommended. The six six uh, six episodes. Um, it's it's really good. It's really well done. Mm. Mm. It spurred well, a lot of careers, also. I mean, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, yeah, Hulk Hogan. Uh, they all went into movie making. Yeah, yeah. yeah. John Cena, yeah. all of them. Yeah. And what is the difference between WWE mm. and WWF? Because that that's that's what I remember all uh, it's the same thing but they got sued by wwf by the um wildlife foundation <laughs> oh yeah. oh they just renamed it? and then there was like a wcw or something or yeah WWC? and that's that's the best part of the documentary so um <laughs> oh uh, i'm gonna spoil uh, that for me. no it's just uh, um it was just uh, um a, a competition so um ted turner was the guy who founded cnn um <laughs> like one of the biggest like media types uh he essentially just decided to open up his own wrestling Federation, which was WCW, which was also more known here in Germany because it was actually um, it was broadcast more than WWE, I think. Yeah, like, you know. on, on RTL2, I think. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Uh, and for yeah. a time, they um, they really um, beat WWE in the ratings because they had more interesting storylines. And they famously um, uh, signed Hulk Hogan away mm. from yeah and it's back and forth and it's just it's so fascinating how, how this business works and yeah interesting interesting yeah monday nitro uh, remember that one new world order mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. it's it it i mean um it never really clicked for me uh i remember playing a a video game for WWF mm -hmm. back then, mm -hmm. um, uh, where you could play all these characters and uh, you know, and wrestle them, you know, wrestle yeah. them, and then you can could do like uh, these stunt things. But uh, uh, the cool thing I remember was that you could go off the the ring, sure, and fight there as well, and yeah. you could fight right, right. So like four people could play this game, like two versus two. Um, and the best thing is there was like always this chair leaning next to the <laughs> next to yeah, next to yeah, you could take this chair and then just smash it over the head of somebody. Mm -hmm. Uh that was amazing. I love that detail. I love yeah. that. So this is a, I was this still, the chair all the time. It's a slight spoiler. It's also the show deals also with the chair chair technique. Um so <laughs> spoil, uh, it was banned. Uh because oh. it, it caused concussions. Um <laughs> really? Yep. They had real fights. Mm. I thought those were like. Um, uh, I mean, some of it was like, like it could. Yeah, it, I, yeah. Some of the stuff the, is like most of it is what what they call work. So when you like um, fake it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But there, ob obviously, like lots of wrestlers got like concussions and then. Did There's the uh, just accidents because they. I think they use the real. Uh, I know the shares might not be like completely real, but they just pretend to hit. But mm -hmm. they, there can be accidents. Yeah. Or they just right. sometimes they just take it, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was the game here, Royal Rumble. I yeah. think, but it looks like it was even more than uh, yeah, no, four players play it. Royal Rumble, <sighs> good memories. It's like uh, yeah, thirty years old by now. Mm. And, and you could yeah. you could argue it's like the quintessential like American. Art form really because it, <laughs> it combines like writing, music, acting, sports. You know, exactly. it's like a soap. It's like a soap opera. I mean, like the yeah, story sure. that there was. Uh, is, yeah, I, I don't want to spoil it, but the the mm. the, the storylines were just because he had, he also brought in his son and his daughter, who then you know, mm. in behind the scenes like competed for his attention, but also you know, in the storylines. Um, Really yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's just I I I think it's fun because it's just like so over the top. It's yeah. like hard to take <laughs> it seriously. I I I think some people do take it pretty seriously. I don't know why, like but Trump? It, I, no, like 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 
like just like huge wrestling fans, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, and 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 watching it like yeah, they're just like characters, you know, and 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 there's like these you know, like groups. Like I remember one that was like three people and and they basically have like an act, you know, they have like a shtick that they come out and do uh and yeah, it's 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 just like crazy. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's like uh, the fun of it. I remember this one here, like these these fake uh, fist moves, whatever. Mm. Here, that, that thing. Oh, it's five megabyte. <laughs> I don't know why it's so big. Yeah, these things here. And uh, at some point, I I didn't care anymore as a as a kid. I remember. Um, and then first time in New York with friends went there as tourists and then two of them were like oh we're going to a uh wrestling thing going on in some i don't know um uh some stadium and they asked me if i would want to go and i was like no no i i want to go um, i've never been I really want to yeah go. i i told them i'm not i'm not 12 <laughs> anymore and, <laughs> and they were so mad at me for saying that <laughs> but they had a good time they came back and were like super thrilled and i was like yeah i I wasn't fun back then. No. <laughs> mm. Cool. Okay, Mr. McMahon. Oh, another game. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is um, I uh, came across this one game here, um, which I posted because it was like an interesting video. It wasn't off topics. Yeah, this this um, uh, very very valid valet. How do you sp how do you spell this valet? V A L E E. Valet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Problem with this game is mm. it costs 12 bucks. So, in order to play it, uh, we have to spend 12 bucks and then also have to be at one location. Uh, this one here. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. But it looks fun. Uh, I saw this video where they, where, where this dev was talking about how to make the, um, um the physics of <laughs> uh the cars mm -hmm. i'm gonna share my, my screen here for that oh sorry so we're making a couch yeah. co-op game about being valets who yeah. wanted to make sure and uh, it's really interesting. There's like this one scene where he shows like how they do the acceleration uh, thing. Let me just find it. He drives it like off a cliff or something. And it, it, he has like also these these little animations for for this character when he's mm -hmm. driving, and that's actually really cute. So for each tire and connecting them with some kind of physics joints or something uh, there's actually only one rigid body going on here so this is what this car looks like according to the physics system it's somehow one rigid body that seems to be driving around as though it is has tires and, and works like a car and uh, so that's actually there's... what's going on here is that we are creating for in code and you can to calculate have a car with suspension and also steering forces or friction forces so the tires don't like to slide sideways and so if Prim gives a little push and hops inside you can see that we've created a really soapbox cute. derby racer we have a car of our torque again is just mm -hmm. more sophisticated relatively uh, simple forces what kind of a simple approach in the blue equals constant uh, this one here be when the player right. is pressing the accelerator we just apply a constant force in the blue look direction. at the eyes Let's of this 100 <laughs> go 100, 100, 100, 100. <laughs> constant force equals constant acceleration. And so the car is just going to kind of speed up. I like this video. Um, yeah, maybe we can uh, learn something from this video um, while um, uh, making our vehicles in the game after the release. That would be... That would be <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Just thinking of, I don't know, some, some cars, tanks. Stuff like that. What do you need when you're invading a planet, basically? Mm. Okay, good. Uh, what else? Off topic. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Really, nothing. Nothing. All right. Let's jump into the the mirror board today. 
just uh, stand up. Is it just me or is Miro really slow today? Mm. Are we like have we hit like a, a capacity issue in, in, in Miro? Is it like in Miro? Just, has it grown too big? Mm, I think it should not matter. Okay. I mean, just sharing my screen to to see that. Is it too big though? I think it definitely. Uh, like, 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 I think, I think that when we archive some of the old stuff, it definitely got faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the old video, uh, the old, um, uh, the mobile app couldn't load this one here. <laughs> <laughs> it always tells me that is uh, over capacity. Mm. Well, that was interesting. You know, I had a lot of discussions here. I think. We were talking about the map. <laughs> so big that that piece here. Yeah. And uh, it's also where we went on to make this planning here. Yeah. Good. Now we're at hauling. So what we can do is uh, that our pioneers are taking stuff um, to machines directly. And for that, I made this little. Um, Amendment to our machine detail view. Paste here as well. Have you seen this, Francisco? Francisco? Yeah. No, he's 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 totally frozen. Oh, he's he's, he's, acting, he's acting like <laughs> right. No, nobody yeah. knows. <laughs> yeah, but but I saw this. I saw this. Uh, you posted this uh, yesterday. So can you explain what's new to it? Yeah, this one here. This is this oh, okay. button here. Uh, so what you see is the machine detail view for all, all our viewers. It's going to be in the uh, right corner of the screen when you select a machine and can change recipes, et cetera. It shows you what fuel you have, uh, how much is used, et cetera, and so on, and also what the machine is producing. And there's a new feature where um, uh, you can decide if it get restocked by pioneers or not. And this is like this button here. It has not an explanation, so you have to hover over it, and it needs a tooltip because there's no room for uh, writing a lot of text here. And also, uh, I couldn't come up with an icon which which would explain it, actually. So I thought it's going to be just some text. So M for manual. And when you switch it, it's going to be A for uh, automatic. <clears throat> and at the beginning, it's all manual. That's 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 the idea. Yeah. Until you connect um, a feeder to it, then it moves to automatic automatically, basically. But you can redo this. You know, you can say, OK, I'll go back. Yeah. Um, but you, I mean, in sort of, you can deactivate this machine by saying it's automatic and it has no um, uh, no feeder connected to. Uh, uh, and that's also what I want to talk about. Should we disable this then if it is if it does not have a feeder, so you can't see this basically, or I mean, uh, explain why this is not available or something, or just leave it. You know, I mean, the, the problem is that people might activate it, and go like, ah, automatic is better mm -hmm. than manual or something, you know. And then this machine does not work anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think we still have to keep the switch because um, we might, like, even if we have a machine somewhere, we might not want the pioneers to always be working on stuff there. Yeah. So if there's a bunch of production set up and you just mm -hmm. want to turn it off momentarily, you can just hit that switch and the pioneers will no longer feed it. Sure. Yeah. But the question is, um, so if you if I would put down a machine just like that, you know, and then discover this this this, uh, I mean, the description of this button has to be precise. Yeah, yeah. Because it otherwise, does. people people are like, ah, oh, automatic is better than manual, of course, yeah. So let's let's hit this thing, yeah, and um, uh, then this machine stops working basically because no, it is not serviced by a feeder, it's not serviced by people. Um, so well, we run into a kind of a problem here. Right. Um, so yeah. Question is, what do we put there as a um, 
tooltip, basically. Yeah. yeah. And, and we can, like, I think we have talked about this, mm. like, for our tooltips, they should have this, like, information, and we can always, we can have, like, something, which is, like, some, some button you hold, which extends the tooltip mm. with more information, so that you're not always looking at the big block of text. But if you actually, for, like, the first time, if you want to find out something more yeah. about it, some games do that, like, you hold control and it has, like, more information. But if yeah. you just want to click on it, you don't want to see that huge thing each time. I mean, Crusader Kings, for example, they have, like, a, a, a super interesting system. Um, it's a little bit annoying sometimes, but um, because when you hover over something, you have, like, this tooltip in it. It kind of um, uh, has, like, this timer on it. Mm. And when you, when you, to lock when, it. To lock it. And then when it is locked after this timer is over, then uh, you could actually enter this tooltip and then uh, navigate through it. And it has like these hypertext links um, to get like further information, which usually um, moves you to some encyclopedia uh, uh, to to um, uh, yeah explain other mechanics which are connected to whatever you're looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, annoying. That's because uh, sometimes you forget that you you have to wait till it is frozen and uh, wait for like I think it's one and a half seconds or something, which is eternity while waiting for an explanation. Yeah, um, and uh, uh, maybe there's a quicker solution like a hotkey, as you say, Francisco. Yeah, okay. something where you, which you have to press and then you can go into this tooltip. That would that would be maybe cool. Yeah. Yeah, which we have, right? Like, 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 like the yeah. tooltip pinny, you can just control. press control. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But maybe, yeah, that's maybe a good idea. Not only having it for um, the workbench and uh, the recipe tooltip, but for all tooltips, yeah? and then make them also a uh, little uh, like with these um, hyper text features. Mm, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, but for now, this works like this. So you have like M, and then when you switch it off uh, over, then you have A yeah, um, mm -hmm. uh, for automatic. And there's also uh, in the sound library, a new sound for mm. switching it on and off. <clears throat> yeah, which, by the way, I think sounds amazing. So, um, and for other languages, we kind of just don't, don't care, just have A and M still. A and M. Or... Hmm. Okay. I can't come up with an mm. icon. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought maybe a hand and a gear, but what does this mean? You know, I mean, it's like... Uh... Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, well, and I think even, even, even manual automatic, like, the only thing that's confusing to me is like, is like when it's on M and it's manual, Mm -hmm. It's actually automated by by cranes or by feeders and inputs and things like that, which is like the automation piece of it. And so this is really just like a like only agents, yeah, allowing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Mm. Maybe just the hand. And the hand uh, kind of crossed out thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be better. Hmm. Hand icon crossed out. Mm -hmm. so I think it's, is there something? Hmm. Mm. Don't touch. Or maybe something like this. Something like this, but this is like really hard to get into uh, eight by eight pixels or something, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That, that might work. Okay, I'll <clears throat> give it another shot. I would mm. say when it comes to the icon. So don't. Um, yeah, maybe uh, Chet has an idea as well. Oh, this one. <laughs> it's very okay. Yeah, and and and. And for now, I mean, I mean, I mean, we can just use the, uh, the, um, you know, the toggle and update and update the icons later. Yeah, yeah. 
So. Mm hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Like this, maybe. Where you get like a box. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like this. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. And 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 good luck again getting that. Yeah, it by uh, Yeah. <laughs> In there. How many, how many pixels are one? Oh, I actually think that they're more. There's eight by eight. No. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh they're more because uh there's like a double pixel, but I can't make that one eight by eight, uh and then that one not. That's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Or oh, the icon has to get bigger. I don't know. That switch or something. Or... Yeah, it's also like smaller than the other icons that we have now. So I don't know. I mean, it just has to be something that at a glance you can see it's on or off. Yeah. After you learn what it does, mm -hmm. you only care yeah. to know, oh, this one is on, this one is on. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good, then, um, well, at least you can use this function. Also have like this cutout here with no colors um, in Discord, so you can use it. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Good, all right, mm. then uh, what else? Yeah, and the, I guess I can actually just show that functionality right now. So mm -hmm. let me share my screen. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, nice. I, I, I'm in the wrong scene, perfect, or not the wrong scene, the wrong tab. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this this functionality is mostly in, so you don't actually turn it on or off yet. It's always on, so uh, pioneers will always be trying to fill this. So if you select a, a recipe here, two people will go. One of them will pick um, steel gears, the other steel plates. Uh, for now, they only care about satisfying... Um, one production, but I think it actually makes sense that they would go get more while this thing is working. Um, because as soon as it finishes, another two people are going to go and get some more some more resources. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that, this is mostly it. Um, just having this functionality, they can each take charge of one item and yeah, just operate machines on their own without cranes, conveyor belts, and everything. Oh, and the, in this branch, there's no uh, output ports, so that's why oh, things are okay. not shooting out. But that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, two people want to go get it. It and, doesn't yeah. have an output shoot. Mm, it, it, this branch screen. doesn't have the implementation. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually undeveloped, but I haven't updated the branch because there might be some some changes. Yeah, but this is mostly it. So we'll have a switch here, which will switch on and off this behavior. And uh, also, I don't think I support fuel yet. That's also something that needs to go in. And okay. yeah, mm. and, that's, and that's mostly it. And and and, and so is this already like running with with like a sensor system for it? I mean, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, actually, so this is only with the with the action. They they take the action and basically they see nothing is oh, okay. So yeah, so if we don't have a recipe selected, they see nothing is missing. So they don't they just drop it immediately. Mm -hmm. So it goes through the entire action thing and doesn't do anything, and they drop it until something is uh, is necessary. Although okay, there's a an issue still, which is um, there's like the request system for this, like the reservation. So right now there's two people reserved to uh, provide the resources to this. And when I did this, it didn't clear that. So there's like two mm -hmm. people 
that are supposed to feed it and two people that are uh, reserved to it. So, so yeah, th that's also something I have to do, which is to clear this reservation. Um, when this changes and also when they get overrides, uh, kind of like the, the other reservations we have. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I, for this, for having a sensor system, um, I mean, I think we still need it because I just, there's no reason for them to go through this knowing that there's nothing here selected. Um, mm -hmm. so I think just, even if the sensor system, that's all it does, just go through them and figure out which ones actually need to, right, right. to be fed. But yeah. Very cool. Nice, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Systems merch. Yeah, and um, yeah. So for me, I, I yeah. So I made a pull request for the uh, this stuff. Um, yeah, I actually kind of realized that there might be like another potential problem, which is that. Um, Storing is dynamic, so like it's a dynamic interaction, um, which basically means that that the the smart object doesn't know that an agent is interacting uh, with it, and 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 so all the stuff works fine. Um, yeah, but so 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 I think that like the only way to be like fully safe is either to to let let smart objects know that like there's a dynamic interaction happening or basically in every single like start perform and end uh basically check <clears throat> check if the entities actually exist um mm -hmm. you know basically by like looking for some component uh you know which will fail if it doesn't exist uh or or something you know because 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 that's really the safest thing um to avoid, you know, basically any 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 potential issues, um, yeah. So just a thought there. Yeah, and so yeah, I started working on this nested uh, hall context many thing. Yeah, I don't really have anything to show of this right now. Uh, I definitely will tomorrow. Um, yeah, basically just putting it together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah. No. Um, uh, for me, so this, this Ada Lovelace sale uh, was mm. beginning pretty good. Pretty good. So uh, yesterday we get got 185 wish lists. I hope this uh, will continue this way or even increase. Uh, also, how much? 185. Yeah. Which mm. is uh, not as good as the the automation sale, but. Um, I yeah, will see. Um, I haven't uh, checked the numbers. Mm. The numbers for today aren't, aren't in yet, or for yesterday. <coughs> um, I also contacted Steam about this this renaming. Uh, hopefully, your answer today. Um, mm -hmm. Ideally, this this uh, gets you know is, is is smooth. Otherwise, I ask him if we then need to uh, you know set up a new page and if we then all lose lose all wish lists. Um, I'm pretty sure that games that I don't know. Yeah. I know so you you guys were kind of preparing for release at one point right and maybe did all those uh those checks and and bills and stuff because can you remember that do you remember that well so 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 the only thing I know is that we went through like like whatever you need to for the um like for the store page for the store page yeah 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 and so and so like I can see that like 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 both check checklists were went through so like mm. the store page and the build and they both were reviewed and approved um and so if that it if that's what they mean by pre-release then we definitely did go through it yeah that's that's um, what I, that's what i precisely was asking I, I wasn't sure if we have really completed the pre-release right process. yeah if, we, if, if i guess we could release like any day if that's the case uh, because it says mm -hmm. Uh, it, it said we could have released yesterday, so um, hmm. they might come back to us and say, "Sorry, at this point you cannot change the name anymore." Um, which then you know, we have to re-evaluate re then. Um, 
yeah, I'm, 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 I'm. I mean, how was it? I mean, there must be a, a possibility. Because what, what was the, <clears throat> the thing about the day before? Wasn't there like a? Didn't they change the name even? I am, I am aware of a few games that changed their, their name, um, but they may have ju may had just their store page up and didn't like turn in the build and stuff already. Um, mm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah. there's some some like some guy will like do us a favor and maybe reset this or something like that. Maybe there's a way. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so this so this actually just says. <laughs> yeah, actually, the end of this sentence is is important here. It says, once your store page has passed through the store rev page review process, you won't be able to change the name of your game unless, unless you have unlocked profile feed. Which means you have even more people playing the game, etc. And so on, Yeah, right? and profile features are... Uh, you so you only get only... profile features if mm. you have released the game. Oh. Because, okay. Because that's, just, that's in a section where um, if you want to... Uh, change the name of your already released game hmm but i mean so... I think profile features are like um a higher tier feature set which you get right. yeah yeah i um, think you're right weird. okay so it, po so it is <laughs> you release it and you change it on day one <laughs> only if you get enough people playing it and, and buying mm. it also <laughs> buying it yeah which was mm. which is not a generally not good advice. Yeah, <laughs> change the name. change the name. Yeah, but this. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this also says that 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 it's a released game, though. So I I I kind of am optimistic that they're going to come back and say, yeah, you know, whatever. There's there's a text field. Just uh, change the name. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is, mm -hmm. and, and I was able to like place the mm -hmm. cursor on it, but I yeah. was kind of hesitant. Um, to oh really? This. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I, I yeah, there is a I, I can try there it. is a text field. Yeah, and I can I can type in, but I'm yep. either, either if I uh, push uh, like save, there's going to be a disclaimer that it's not po possible, or the name is then changed already, you know, and then we're not prepared. We're you would have you can only change it once. Though. You would you would you would have to publish your changes. Right. Yeah. All, All right. right. <laughs> well, then uh, let's get this stuff right in. Um, Tony, you said you had like the DaVinci files still for that thing. Uh, I I I don't have all the for the trailer, all the video set up. No, but no. But so what I was saying is 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 basically for any of it, you know. Um, yeah, I can just cut cut some piece of it and 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 replace it with something else, you know, and even yeah. keep the audio in some places. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, where it makes sense. I think it's you only mentioned the name of. The uh, in each video once so like in the commentary it's like in the beginning and mm -hmm. in i think there's no not even speech in the yeah no the first one n n no it's just the end the end where where it has domini on two and wish list now mm -hmm. like that long that long cut right. um and that would basically just have to go Right. Okay. Then yeah, be if you find time, then uh, uh, you can do that, and then um... yeah. And then once we have all like all the assets ready, kind of, then I can try it. And in the meantime, I also get a response mm. from from the Steam yeah. team. It doesn't have to be in the build anyway, right? So we can take down this demo, and then um, just not have the demo out because that's that's then the only place where it still says Dominion. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so, and also maybe we can think about um, like showing this off at this at this game circle. Do you guys want to, for example, give out keys? Uh, do you want people like going going home and p maybe keep on playing this? Um, and then we would need have to need uh, need to have a build. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I want to go to to game circle anyway after. They said we can't come. We can't have a booth. No, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm the... That's that's games. No, that was games ground. That's yeah. Games oh, that's games ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, game circle is still on. Yeah, yeah. Of course, game circle is on. Oh God. Oh. Games ground was dawn apart. Oh, games ground was dawn apart. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. How could they? 
I'm confused. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so Games oh, yeah. Ground is this this fairly like the biggest yeah. Berlin Expo. Um, yeah, yeah. And and Game yeah. Circle is this developer thing where we were like last year or mm -hmm. right, which we liked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then no, like like a cool thing to do is like if you have business cards, uh, you print out a Steam key on a sticker and you you uh, uh, stick it to the business card and you give out. You know, hi, I'm Tilo. Here's my. If you want to check out the game or whatever. Here's my if, game. But if the demos, <laughs> if if the demos um public at, game. at this point, yeah. and you you can just say you know here, check out Combat Covers on Steam. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 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 the other day, then were you thinking that we were taking, uh, Damian to to Games Ground to like a Game larger. Ground. I I've confused place? Games Ground with Game Circle. Yeah. Yeah. But for everybody watching here, this is like um talking about so we have like this one game which is called dominion and uh we're gonna rebrand it into combat cobras um and uh yeah so i was a little bit confused of where we're taking which game so this is like a kind of a side thing so we developed this like three years ago before dawn apart basically um it's a it's a passion project by tony and me um basically the first game um commercially which we made, um, and uh, the name kind of sucks, which we had for because nobody, I mean, nobody understood how to write it, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah. So also the theme is a little bit, yeah, off, I would say, and so we were branding it to Combat Cobras, um, and um, so the question is how we can do this. At... Yeah, I hope nobody of you guys. Paying a hundred bucks to to take this name from us uh, on Steam until <laughs> we have renamed it. Yeah. Okay. And, and and one last sentence to Games Ground where we got rejected because there were too many. There were like a hundred uh, mm -hmm. applications and there only yeah. thirty uh, spots. Um, so what they are offering to to those who are reject, rejected is like a discounted price, five hundred bucks for three days, uh, including the booth and branding. Just just for the record, if this is something. That we want to do. Um, my hunch is that in November it's probably still not a good time to really like show it to a bigger audience. Um, but no. because we're in the middle of a play test then, uh, so yeah. Yeah, we're showing it to a bigger audience, but not on. Yeah, just online. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Great. So it's still on then. Yeah. So Tony, well. If you mm -hmm. if you find time and to to put these things in, then uh, did Games Circle say anything about the uh, um, TV etc. and so on? They they will get back to us about about the screen. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I, I specifically asked it to be in this lounge area with the huge uh, um, the huge screen or the, what it was called line run. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That would be that would amazing. Be cool. uh, maybe that maybe really cool. maybe they switch games uh, in this area. So yeah, one one hour is this and one hour is that. Um, okay. Yeah, but I, I I specifically told them this is up to four, uh, uh, up to eight players and um, yeah, would be great. Yeah, would be great. Mm. Okay. Mm, yeah. Then we also probably need new controllers of some kind, unless they're gonna supply controllers. Which I'm assuming they're not. Uh, we I, have I, I told them I we, have... we'll bring controllers. Yeah, I have controllers. Yeah. What, 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 because how many? Because are some dead? of those are broken. Yeah. They're like not working, right? How many are dead? Uh, you remember? It's, mm -mm. it's one or two. One or two. Okay. No. Well, I can. I bring every everything, and then like two more, and then we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, which are not working. Okay. Um. I have to learn game dev and release my hit game covers before Steam support changes. <laughs> <laughs> On my way. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess we have to name it then uh, Pistol Pythons then. Um, Pistol. <laughs> Pythons. Backup name. <laughs> we yeah. have we have a, we have a ton of great backup names. Yeah. By the way, it's not it's not called Combat Cobras. Yeah, <laughs> it's Combat Cobras. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Cobras also great. Yeah. Cobras. <laughs> yeah. Triple S. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy to find. The name always like reminds me of have you seen the, the movie Dodgeball? Where like Ben Stiller's like villain villainous team mm -hmm, is called right. <laughs> and they always go like Tss. it's like their signature move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's a classic. It's a yeah. classic. Yeah, I, I, only, I, only, only, oh my God. Yeah. I, I only see memes of it. Well, <laughs> yeah. it. I'm pretty sure there are memes about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there are tons of memes. No. Uh, why, why didn't anybody made a, make a dodgeball game, by the way? Uh, Ubisoft did. Ubisoft uh, yeah, did dodgeball it was, game? It was, it was like a Battle Royale dodgeball game. Uh, it was canceled after <laughs> one year. Battle Royale? I think oh, so. uh, I forgot the name. Odd, it's called Odd Oddballers. Ballers. Yeah, so it looks like. Is it Oddballers? It's like where you like throw balls at other players. It's not exactly dodgeball, but it's like it's like a shooter ball type game. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, hold on. No, that's another. Oddballers is a totally bonkers multiplayer party game where each round is a new absurd type of dodgeball. You have to, it got you have released to Google, like, this canceled year. Ubisoft. <laughs> it doesn't have to be cancelled. Well, to see that I don't it, know if you're gonna find the one. It had like <laughs> it had eleven reviews. Yeah, I I I see it was postponed in 2022. I don't know. Did it come out? I think it. Ubisoft. It's on Steam. It's on Steam. Oh, it has eleven reviews, mixed reviews. Man, by the way. they're not doing great. Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you? No, not recently. I think it's called Hyperscape. No, is it Hyperscape? No, that's a shooter. Hyperscape. Mm. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just. Everything I just said is completely made up. Roller. It's called Roller Champions. <laughs> Roller oh. Champions. It's Roller Champions. And it's apparently not cancelled. <laughs> that's from Ubisoft. Uh, no, that's not. It's not this. No. It's like uh, I think that's yeah. No, it's called Hyper. Of... It's called Hyperscape, Battle Royale Hyper... with bouncing balls. Yeah. Well, Roller Champion looks mm. like more uh, some sort of uh, looks like Rocket League. Rock, with... yeah. Rocket League. Yeah. And yeah, Hyperscape is, was switched off for t two years ago. Okay. Hyperscape. And what is with, what's with, what's mm. with Odd Balls? Odd Ballers. This is it like a dodge ball game by mm -hmm. Ubisoft. Got released this August. Yeah, there's 11 <laughs> reviews and it's mixed. And this is all, I've never heard of this game. This is made by Ubisoft? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Published by Ubisoft. Uh, game Swing. What else did they do? Stickball. So I guess... Oh, that's like, I guess... Uh, <laughs> Which is another dodgeball game. It's the same dodgeball game, <laughs> but like with, with Minecraft characters. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I want to play uh, Oddballers now. And this is free. What the heck? <laughs> is this free? No, that's ten bucks. No. So there was apparently there was like one UB uh, exec who was really into dodgeball, so they released two <laughs> dodgeball games. Uh, interesting. An ex tech career with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe the, the meeting was like, uh, let's let's release a new Assassin's Creed, and then some said no. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do dodgeball. Everybody's like, "I like that movie." Let's do this. It's a classic. That's, I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Uh, no. I, I I now have a vested interest in in Ubisoft succeeding, though. And 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 I'm sure Jordan is sick of hearing me talk about it, but uh, yeah. but because they make Trackmania. And uh, and this is like my obsession now, so I yeah. just want him to keep keep doing it, keep it alive. Okay. Right. I mean, also there's some Ubisoft money in this company here, so don't forget that. I mean, and not I think Ubisoft. like two weeks ago we talked about the stock uh, mm -hmm. development, and if you if you uh, if you like had bought stocks two weeks ago, you now had would have like thirty percent up. Yeah, for, for, yeah, 
So that's what yeah. I because you said you have a vested interest. I, I thought you were, you actually bought stocks, but no, you just <laughs> nope. <laughs> you just nope. play Trackmania. Okay. It is yeah yeah and 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 seriously, everybody should go play Trackmania. It is the best. It, it is probably <laughs> the best game I've played in in so years. Here's it my is problem. So good. I I like I get those games mixed up. There's Trackmania and there's also um what what is the one called like Hot Wheels? Is it the yeah? Same? They're nothing alike though. No. Oh okay. Absolutely not. So, is, track that, yeah. is that Trackmania uh -huh. 1 and 2? Uh, there's there's a few of them. There's like Nations Forever. There's Trackmania Turbo. Wh which this I, is the which 2021. The, the, the OG Trackmania? No. No, this is this is uh, the one from 2020. It's, it's like called, the latest one. What is it just called? Trackmania. Just, just Trackmania. Okay. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> And the first thing you'll notice when you play it is the car feels bad. Uh, but if you just keep playing, it's it's so good. Like like the skill ceiling is is just like so high, uh, and the maps are so cool. Uh, yeah, I I, I I I could really go on and on about it. It is just incredible. How do you play it with the mouse or with the keyboard? Yeah, yeah, keyboard. Keyboard. Yeah. There was like yeah, keyboard. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's like uh, so 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 the thing is is that like on a controller you have like a little bit more control because it's not, um, e you know it's not like zero to a hundred basically, uh, but on keyboard you have these things called action keys which like, uh, which basically make it so that when you press a key you're doing like eighty percent steering or forty percent or sixty percent or something like that, and so sometimes you use mm -hmm. those but, uh, you know but not but not always. Yeah, I saw like YouTube videos where people went like crazy with uh, maps, you know, not mm -hmm. um, not touching anything for I don't know, like half a minute or something, and then coming out yeah. in the perfect area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, so those are probably just like 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 press forward maps, and then there's there's like RPG, which I really like, you know, which basically are uh, I don't know, like um, like trial maps, sort of um, that are there are like a ton of checkpoints and you have to do them in like a very specific way. And they might be like, you know, you have like wet wheels on plastic or you might be on ice or, or, or like dirt or something. And they all, they all control like completely different. There's like all these interactions you have to know, uh, like kind of how stuff works and you have to know like, like, like how to do certain bugs. And yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just really, really fun. Yeah. What is, uh, what is the fun part? Is it the flow you get, like the achievement uh, to get a, a a run perfect or something? Yeah, it's just like the challenge. Like, 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 like. So there's a couple things, right? So, like, it's like I talk about it a lot, but you know, like, I like surfing, I like bunny hop, I like just movement. Mm -hmm. And and so this game is like it. It's it's sort of like that, you know. But you don't have like 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 very good analog control, but but you can like learn to to like control the car really well and like hit slopes right and you have like air brakes which kind of like control like how you're rotating in in the, in the air. air a little bit yeah and 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 so basically like like as you get better you can do like these maps that like you could not have done just like launching the game you know like it's it's basically impossible um you know so it's just like the feeling of like of like I can tell that I'm now like so much better from where I started. Um, yeah. And so like, yes, yeah, so it's like racing. It's, it's like, just like the driving. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's basically every part of it. It's just fun. Oh, this is the ice party. Cool. Yeah. 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 Ice is really interesting. Um, yeah. By the way, Ubisoft coming back to this one. Yeah. So they launched oddballers August 15th. Mm -hmm this year and then their stock crashed <laughs> it's, it's, it's this game you know so yeah yeah it's down 23 percent since they released outboarders so whoever made this game has to take their hat okay <laughs> maybe you can play it the next time on stream outboarders yeah i don't know it's it's only 75 percent discounted um it's not really a bargain for me i would say <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting uh, to pick it up when it is uh, 
I mean, can you can you go below seventy five percent? I think that's like the most you can do, right? It's gone. What is this? I mean, I I think there might I I think you might be able to go to like ninety. Yeah, yeah, you might. Yeah, really, ninety percent. Mm -hmm. You can also can turn it into a free free to play game <laughs> as well, which would be one hundred percent then, I guess. <laughs> I don't get the trailer. The trailer is also really really weird because like in the end you have like this scene which is I think slowed down or something, but it feels like it's actually it's actually lagging. I think they want to have like this profound explosion scene, and then but it feels more like the game is lagging. Second. Yeah, I, I actually want to play uh, dodgeball in real life. I haven't played dodgeball in real life for, 20, mm. for the last 20 years. So much fun. Really? I haven't played it in the last 30 years, but you're younger yeah. than I. No. <laughs> no, I yeah. <laughs> you know what this yeah. is? Uh, it's because they 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 have taken the thing, right? And And they only had so much frame data. They slowed it down and then composited this this toilet paper on top of it to zoom into the camera. Right. Uh, almost. Oh, early. yeah. But so, this is like. Yes, yeah, so you have this perfectly smooth moving toilet paper that's composited over an image that is running at like a low frame rate, um, you know, to kind of make this like cool, like 3D effect. Yeah. It just. But it looks jarring. It is so weird, right? Yeah, completely. It's like, yeah, it's like you're you're mixing like different pixel art styles and different sizes as well yeah yeah this is this is like and then there's like this explosion in the end mm -hmm. boom yeah and it's also interesting because like 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 they don't have a trailer that gets right into gameplay which is mm. like like what i always hear is like one of the most important things you know both of these like 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 normally if you have like a trailer like this that is like some part animation like pre-rendered if you go to the next one, it normally starts with gameplay. And this is like another Assassin's Creed Valhalla looking thing. Uh, and you don't get into the actual gameplay until 20 seconds in. Yeah. And so you get nothing out of either of them, basically. It's funny if you're just like it. glancing at this page. Yeah. Uh, it's funny that you say that because uh, I was talking to Till right before you drew, um, about this one guy who uh, made Slime Farmer. And mm. he mm -hmm. had like the GDC talk, and I think is that's what you refer to, um, where he says, uh, "Make your gameplay fit into a GIF, basically." Um, and uh, that's also what we're trying to do with like these mini trailers before the trailer, showing mm -hmm. actually what is the so that people can decide yeah. on the spot, you know. And he says like it's it's like making people walk through a firewall, you know, uh, and make them interested in your game. Uh, by looking at this GIF and then make this decision on the spot. Okay, well, that's something for me. There's something for me in there, right? Mm -hmm. and if you if you are capable of putting the whole gameplay into a three second GIF, uh, you can get these people walk through this firewall and make uh, be interested in your game. Um, and I think that's <laughs> what you're referring to, um, because when I'm looking at this trailer here, this oddballers. There's this guy sitting on a roof for five seconds, six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he jumps down. What is this? Okay, yeah, it's it's it's, it's 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 just the setup to their punchline of yeah. of of like you know you know like this is like an absurd game. Like, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Yeah, right. yeah. While also using like the Ubisoft IP a little bit. Or like, uh, you, you know, doing like a wink, wink towards it. Yeah. I'm wondering what made them do this trailer because maybe that. So how? Twenty eight seconds before you see some gameplay, and then, of course, it's not really interesting. Almost the same problem which we would have with Dominion slash Combat Cobras, right? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a, an indie title. Uh, and it, the trailer was probably produced for like a showcase. Mm -hmm. It's more common to have these CG 
elements to it. But I agree with Tony that at least the second one, there should be a gameplay trailer uh, on the Steam page, which goes into gameplay right away. Um, yeah. Because one of, one of their angles, from what I've seen here, is um, kind of like a hero shooter thing. So they have like a, a roster of characters. Uh, so I guess they wanted to show off these different, you know, quirky characters. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Right. Mm. But it's, it's mm. interesting because it's roughly in the same genre as, uh, as Combat Cobras. It is, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so it's uh, maybe a, 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 a learning case uh, to yeah. a certain extent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Oddballers. What is SteamD saying? How many copies are sold? Three hundred ninety. That's not much. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. And he comes yeah, with his Ubisoft launcher. Uh. Oh, does it? And I don't mm. know what they were thinking. I mean, this thing. Oh, what? That was on Steam since August 2019? Okay, who's, who's, whose son-in-law is this here as a developer? <laughs> um, really, I mean, you, you have like... Uh, this is from 2019 on Steam and gained about a, th a thousand wish lists in three years. And then they make it, made a release. Yeah, which must, yeah, which is in 2022 sometime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so actually their, their original game did better, right? And, 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 yeah, so I'm sure they, they went they public or, or or they pitched ubisoft on on like a like the next evolution of their game that's already had like got some traction mm -hmm. um and yeah, and then one? it just didn't which uh, stick bold? yeah stick bold. oh okay they even had a soundtrack out that's yeah cool. yeah and actually this has this has 174 reviews and they're very positive yeah how did this end up being the successor of this one what mm -hmm. happened? Just a zeitgeist, maybe? It's, uh, yeah. yeah, no clue. Yeah, well, I, I, I also certainly have never heard of this game. I mean, no. I, I mean, whether or not <laughs> I would, I would buy it, you know, is, is one thing, but, but, but like, I've, I've never seen this or heard of it. And probably would not have unless, Unless Till had mentioned it, and actually, yeah. this was the wrong game. <laughs> this, <Yeah>. this, <laughs> this only came up by luck. True. What the heck? Okay, people like it. First comment is also perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's probably um, it was probably commissioned during a time when they had like deeper pockets, and this was like Perhaps. just a fracture of an Assassin's Creed game. You know, mm. maybe yeah. maybe like two percent of the budget or one percent. So they were saying, uh, let's 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 throw this out here. And yeah, looks like also this is like ten years old. This is Nordic Indie Sensation finalist two thousand thirteen. So. Before it ended up on Steam, that looks, was like already years making. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and probably, um, and probably it doesn't probably play well. Um, I don't think this Oddballers? is the case. Yeah, neither of the either of those games, or like maybe let's let's say Oddballers. Um, I, I would it, it would be surprising if it was a really fun party game. It probably is not. And then. There's only so much that Steam can can recommend this game to other players if this doesn't get any traction in terms of you know reviews and playtime. Um, then it just gets buried. If the game is not good, you know, it's Steam will not show it to anyone. You know, um, yeah. And I, 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 my guess is uh, it's probably like that. 
it's probably not that fun ultimately in a perfect world that's that's how it would be um yeah another game they have in the making is gun touchable that is also co-op game they really go with the co-op part cool okay mm. enough of research here uh <laughs> anything else from you phil <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. Then, um, well, everybody else, thanks for watching us today. And uh, we're off working on the game. And see you next time. See you guys. Yeah. See ya. Uh,